Hello collectors, Optical 20 here. Uh, today we're gonna step away from 1 6th scale figures and I'm gonna go back to my roots which is uh, video game collectibles. I got this recently Uncharted 4 at Thief's End. As you know, they're, he's, you know, I normally review them when they're super old because I got them from the bargain bin, you know, from the clearance section. This one is, you know, it, it came out on May, so it's not that old. Uh, I originally came out for 120. Uh, I didn't buy it because, as you know, I, I these guys are gonna go on sale, and it did. Uh, this was on sale on Fries. If you have that in your store, I don't know if it still is for 69.99. Um, I do have that on my area, but it's kind of far, so I did call Best Buy to do a price match, and they did. So I, you know, got us for basically ten dollars more than the regular version, which is pretty sweet. Um, as you can see, the box is pretty huge. Uh, you open it from the top; it's 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 an okay looking box. You know, if you if anyone have seen the Uncharted Three um, ver version, it's a lot better. The box is actually looks like one of those collectibles that you get in the game. This one is pretty standard. Um, I guess that's why it's 120. Um, and then you open them from the top, and then you get another box from it. Um, another collectible item, I guess, I'm I'm looking out for and wanting to go down on price is the Hitman. That statue just looks cool, but I hate it when they don't include a physical game. I heard it's only a DLC, which kind of sucks because basically you're just buying well you're still buying the game but you can't trade it in you know I mean it's not like I'm gonna trade it in right away but I like the idea of having a physical you know media in my hand like this guy you know um, I think it's just worth it I'm not a big fan of DLC I only do it when they go on dirt cheap sale but yep and this is how you open it from the top so you can see there Uncharted, pretty much the same box as the outside and you can see a, a nice styrofoam here protects the figure I mean there's a there's a nice statue inside uh, you can see her open here so yeah I'm not reading instructions here so yeah there you go and that you, you get this two item which is the um, art book which I love on every collectible item and Unfortunately, they're smaller now. Back in the day, they have this this huge ones. When I got the Tekken Six, Skyrim, and also you get this awesome uh, steel book, which looks like a comic book. Then you open it up, and all the goodies are inside, which is some stickers from Naughty Dog, which I firmly believe is the best developer right now. Um, you get some DLCs um, right there. You know, some in-game downloadable, I guess, for multiplayer and. I just wish they included the um, the uh, normal case, you know, but that's okay. I'm, I'm not intending to trade this in. I love the Uncharted series. And as you can see here, this is what you, you know, you bought it for. This is the, um, I guess, the meat of the uh, Collector's Edition, which is this nice statue right here of Nathan Drake trying to pull out his gun. And we'll take a closer look at him um, in the next section. Now here you go, we're taking a look at Nathan Drake, his statue. It's a huge statue. Um, I think it's over 12 inches tall. Really nice detail. I think it's made by Bowen, uh, which is if you are into statues and collectibles, uh, one of the better ones. The previous one, the Uncharted 3, was made by Sideshow Collectibles, which is also a pretty good company that I deal with all the time when, when it comes to, as you can see with my 1-6 collectibles. Um, there you go. It's a beautiful, beautiful figure. Uh, of course, the paint work, you can't, you know, I mean, you can't compare it to Hot Toys quality, but it's good for what it's worth, especially for $69.99, considering that the game itself is $59.99. So basically, you're getting the goodies for $10. If that is a big if, you have a price next to you or if you wait a little bit longer. I know it's going to go on sale. I'm sure everything goes on sale when it comes to video games. Um, goes to the side, you know, the, yeah, yeah, pretty, pretty nice, um, sculpt right there as it, for those who follow, uh, Uncharted, they kind of change, uh, Nathan Drake's appearance from PlayStation 3 to PlayStation 4. Haven't played a game nor did a ton of research to it, but, um, yeah, uh, you can see it evidently the, their looks are not the same. And at the bottom from his pants, you can see it's a darker side. So it looks like he went into a river or a mud. That's why his the bottom of his pants are wet. I'm, I'm assuming mud because he, you know, you can see the bottom of the shoe well detailed right there, and then the ground it has some roots, even some 
footprints or shoe prints. Uh, so yeah, that's the reason why his um, pants are wet. And there you go on the, at the bottom. Nicely detailed. The base is beautiful as well. Uh, you can't take him off the base. I guess you can say that unfortunately or fortunately because the, the the first uncharted uncharted 3 not the first one but the previous version you could take him off but i'm having trouble like keeping him you know in, in a nice upright position so i guess it's a good idea not to you know for him to just stand like this and looks awesome you can see his shirt is not tucked in he has some scrapes on his arm nicely made you know the details are awesome you can see the holster i um, mean that uh, some scrapes on his neck, on his face, you can see some, you know, like his 5 o'clock shadow, some scruff. You can see that he's been through a lot. And Nathan Drake, I mean, he's like the male version of uh, uh, Tomb Raider. So he goes all over the place. If you've seen, I think, Uncharted 2, he started off in a train upside down. Uh, you know, similar situations with Lara Croft. There you go. And this is just a size comparison, as you can see there, Uncharted 3, which I also do like. I love that that statue, but he just towers over it. He's a big dude, you know. I, I mean, it doesn't occupy a lot of space, but just to give you an example, this is Quicksilver from Hot Toys. I just got him recently as well. Look at the size. They're almost the same height, you know, with the base and everything. So, big dude. And Quicksilver is 12 inches, not including the base. And there you go, guys. If you are, if you have a PlayStation 4, I would definitely recommend Uncharted 4 video game. Just the game. You don't need to pick up the collector's edition. But if you have extra money, you know, I don't recommend this for 120 for what you're getting. You're basically getting the game, which is 60. So in an essence, if you're gonna buy this in full price, you're paying $60 for the art book and the statue. Now, normally, because I'm buying Hot Toys, $60 is not a whole lot of money for a collectible like this for me. But at the same time, I've been in this game long enough to know that it's going to go down in price. And it did while it's fairly new. So if you wait a little bit longer, I'm pretty sure you can get this for a lot cheaper than what I did. Uh, so, yeah, just keep an eye on it. But if you can't wait, it's not a bad price either. $120, you know, you, you, you could have could have been worse. It could have been Halo 5 worse, like $250. Um, yep, yeah, that's it. And um, thank you for watching. So like I said, pick this one up if you're a big fan. Even if you're not, if you, as long as you have a PlayStation 4, I think Uncharted is a must-have. So thank you for watching. Uh, please like, hit like or subscribe. And uh, until the next review.